Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So today we're going to be taking a look at All Star Link. Now you may ask yourself, what is All Star Link? Well, it's a little bit like Echo Link, but better. So All Star Link is a worldwide network of amateur radio repeaters, remote base stations and hotspots accessible to each other via the internet or private IP networks. Now All Star Link runs on a dedicated Linux computer, this includes the Raspberry Pi, that you can host at your home, radio site or computer centre. Now it's based on the open source Asterix PBX, the app RPT module is a powerful radio repeater controller and All Star Link is open source GPL software and it's free for anybody to use. Now in the beginning All Star Link was invented by Jim Dixon WB6NIL who sadly passed away in 2016. Now Jim was responsible for App RPT and many aspects of the Asterix which is a software based public branch exchange for the telephone industry. Now since Jim's passing there is a team of like-minded hams who look after day-to-day -day administration and also provide system updates to the All Star Link network. Without this team All Star would not progress so we're very thankful to those guys who keep it going. Now how do you access All Star? Well you can either access it through an All Star Link enabled repeater, you can build your own hotspot node, there are also some Echo Link bridges to specific hubs, also access it via some digital reflectors which are also connected to specific hub nodes. You can also access it via a telephone dial up using a special number. Now this is a picture of the homebrew all-star node that I made. Now this is just a box with a couple of, uh, well, three LEDs on the front. One's a power, one's a, a TX, one's an RX. And you'll notice at the back there, I've got a little antenna. Now the radio that I'm using inside here is just a cheap Chinese UHF radio. And it's very popular in building all-star nodes when you want to use them at home. So let's take a look inside what the contents are. So what we've got, we have the Raspberry Pi, we have a CM108 USB sound card, we have a modified BF88 radio, uh, the power supply and of course you need an SD card with the ASL Pi image. Let's take a closer look inside my node. So this is the front panel, I have a power light which is actually blue, uh, a green LED for when it's receiving and a red LED for when it's transmitting. If we go over to have a look inside, uh, this is the Raspberry Pi. Um, we have some wires here that go from the header to the LEDs. Now I wrote some scripts uh, so that when the status of the um, node is in transmit or receive, it will send a signal to the TX or RX uh, LEDs. Uh, plugged into the USB connection here, we have the CM108 sound card or CM108 compatible sound card, it has the CM108 chipset. Um, we have here, this is just an audio isolation transformers. Now you don't really need these, but uh, when I was building this, I was suffering with some noise on the transmission. So I was trying to isolate it by uh, isolating the audio between the radio and the sound card. I've left it in because uh, there's no reason to take it out. Now over here we have the BF, uh, this is a Baofeng BF888, it's a real cheap handheld radio and you can modify them quite easily. As you can see here I've just taken the plastic case off and we just have the metal casing here with the main PCB. One of the modifications that you need to do to this radio if you want to is to remove a coil and also remove a link to the final output transistor. What that will do, it will then take the output from a few watts down to a few milliwatts, which means when this is transmitting, it's only transmitting in your local area, i.e. like around the house. Um, over here is a, um, I think they call a buck converter. They basically uh, will drop the voltage from, I've got 13.8 volts coming in here. The Raspberry Pi needs five volts and the radio needs, I think it's around four volts or four point something volts. So uh, for that, I have a couple of diodes in series to, uh, to drop the voltage, which I'm actually gonna be changing at some point to another buck converter. So I'll have two in here at some stage. Um, obviously we've got the RF out. This is the RF out connection from the BF88. 
uh, BF888 rather, uh, and that just goes to a, a, a connection on the end. And we have a SMA connection here, which I can screw the antenna into. So that's pretty much it really. That's uh, that's uh, pretty much all there is inside uh, a an all-star node. I mean, once you've got uh, all-star link image installed onto the SD card, you do need to SSH into it and actually configure it because there's there's actually quite a lot to configure. What you also need to do is go to the all-star link website and actually register your node. Once you've registered, you create a server, then you create a node, and then they'll issue you with like a node number and a password. So every single node that's on the network is unique. Now, I also run Echo Link on here as well. So when I've got this running uh, it also runs echo link and it has its own separate node which actually bridges between all star and echo link so if you go onto echo link and search for m0 dqw l that will be this box and whatever i'm listening to on uh, all star you'll be able to listen and also talk through as well now if you don't feel confident about building something like this yourself then there are some other options uh, if you're in the united states i believe there are some companies which manufacture some pre-made nodes that you can just uh, purchase and then use at home if you're in the uk there's a guy called peter g7 rpg i hope he doesn't mind me mentioning him in the video but uh, if you just google and search for his details uh, and contact him i'm sure he'd be quite happy to uh, build you a node for for a nominal fee if you're like me that likes tinkering around with things then uh, there's no reason why you can't go ahead and and try building this yourself uh, all the parts in here are relatively cheap i mean the uh, pi 3 is quite cheap the bf triple eights are cheap uh, sound cards about a dollar from china uh, but converters about one or two pound as well now one of the most popular hubs or uh, all-star hubs is 41552 which is actually based in Manchester in the United Kingdom. Uh, now this is a central point where everybody uh, who wants to connect or chat on this particular network, this hub net network, uh, will connect their nodes to. Now we have people for, from around the world connecting, from Australia, from America, because it's a central point. Now as you can see on this diagram here, this is the actual kind of experience explosion view or a balloon view of uh, which nodes are currently connected. Now if I kind of just zoom out a little bit you'll be able to see all the different nodes which are connected and from various people around the world. So a really useful website is this one. It's called allstarmap.org. Now this shows you all of the current all-star nodes which are currently connected to the system. Now this can be either a hotspot, somebody's own node that they've built, or it could be a node which is connected to a repeater. So if we go down and let's have a look at uh, United Kingdom here, uh, it says we've got 210 nodes here. As we start to scroll down, you see that it starts breaking out so we can see roughly where they are in the uh, in the UK let's go to the ones in Manchester click on those and this is even better now if we click on one we can see the node and we can also see the node number but don't forget any node can connect to any node but uh, in the UK here we've got something called hubnet and I think there's quite a few different versions of like hubnet around the world where you have one single node and a whole load of other nodes connect to it. So it's like a central point for, for talking. Now, if we zoom back out, we can then have a look around. So we've got loads over in the United States and we've also got them down in Australia as well, which is brilliant. So this website is for purely showing which all-star nodes are currently connected to the system and you can see how many there is quite easily. So for example over here in the United States where well, we've got 540 here, we've got 570 there, 166 here, we've got a, he's on his own over there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, oh, there's even some down in, uh, in South Africa. I haven't actually connected to any of those before. We may have to try that out. So once you've got your node all installed, then you're going to need some way to control it. Now there are a, a few different options. Uh, one of the first options or uh, great options is by using a web interface. So if you're on the local area network, you just type in the IP address of your uh, node. And as, soon, as long as you've got Allmon or Supermon installed, then you'll be presented with a screen similar to this. Now this is just some controls which allows you to disconnect, connect to different nodes, and also a whole load of other 
kind of system features as well. So let's just go ahead and connect to the UK Hubnet by typing in 41522. I'm going to click connect. As you can see down here, it says that I'm connected to 41522, which is the Hubnet based in Manchester. So one of the control buttons here, if we press it, we'll have a drop down of some things that we can get it to do. So let's say, say the local time, press execute. Or we can make it say the ID. And there's a whole load of other things that you can do. You can stop and start AST. You can even uh, reboot the server itself, even check for a software update, which is uh, a new feature. Now the install that I'm using is uh, an install image from Ham VoIP. You can get the image from hamvoip.org. Now I used that initially because it was a, a real easy way to set up. It had this really nice wizard. When you loaded the image on the SD card, popped it into the Raspberry Pi and booted, and then SSH'd into it, it gave you a a really nice kind of menu an easy way to configure your all-star node now there's a couple of other ways that you can control your all-star node and uh, that's via uh, an app uh, for your mobile device uh, whether you're on iOS or whether you're on Android you can go ahead and look for node remote for all-star node it is actually an app that I developed myself and it's uh, available in the Play Store and also in the iOS app store as well and it's fully compatible with all of your nodes so earlier on i had a quick chat with a couple of guys on hubnet and uh, this is what happened morning gentlemen m0dqw m0dqw this is ham this is ham this is So uh, I'll uh, keep an eye out for that. Um, 
I do hate hearing myself coming back through <laughs> on recording so uh, but I'm sure a lot of people feel the same so brilliant stuff uh, 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 and uh, yeah thanks for the heads up on the video I shall look out for that uh, cheers Matt 73 for now G7 RPG Cheers, Peter. I just thought I'd mention it just in case uh, if you do come across it and you suddenly hear your voice and think, hey, I didn't give permission for that. But anyway, there you go. Have a good day, guys. I'll uh, I'll, uh, I'll be listening. M0 DQW, back to listening. Cheers. Cheers, Matt. 7-3. Yes, M3, uh, Matt, M0, WCX, clear. Yes, M3, Stuart, bye. Well, there we go, guys. I say introduction to what All Star Link is, and uh, I hope you found the video interesting. I'll leave some links down in the description below so you can go and check it out. If you've got any questions, as always, put them down in the comments, and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day, and until the next video, I'll see you then.